Hello, and welcome to Adtran Pro Cloud Content Filtering. Today I will demonstrate how to configure your policy. Once you have your login details, you log in and you are presented with this screen. This is the dashboard. This gives you statistics on the traffic going through your policy. To configure your policy, the first thing you must do is add your external IP address. We do this from the Settings Locations tab. There are four ways of doing this. If your network's external IP address is a static IP, you can add this here. If it is a dynamic IP address, you add it here. And you also must add a small agent within the network. This will keep the IP address up to date with Adtran Pro Cloud. If you have a dynamic DNS name, you can add this here. We will resolve that name and make sure the IP address is up to date. The last tab is roaming. This is if you have people with laptops who are out on the road connecting to different networks and Wi-Fi's, you would need to install our on-the-go agent. This will make sure that that laptop's DNS always comes back to this policy and we will keep that IP address up to date. So that laptop will always be associated with this filtering policy. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will use my external IP address and a useful tip at the top right hand corner, we will give you your current external IP address. So I will add this now. Now that I've added that, that has told Adtran Pro Cloud to accept all DNS requests from that IP and associate it with this policy. The next step is to configure the policy. We do this on the Policy Categories tab. We have 53 predefined categories. Now I will go through the most popular categories to block. This is a traffic light system, so green means allowed, red means block. So the most popular categories to block are weapons, violence, spyware malicious sites, spam, Pornography and sex, phishing and fraud, nudity, illegal drugs, hate speech, gambling, and alcohol. Also, criminal skills and hacking. We simply save that. And now any request that comes from that external IP address will be subject to these blocks. We also have a whitelist and a blacklist. So if there was a domain under, say, alcohol, that should be you would like to allow, you can simply add that to the whitelist. You do this on the settings, white blacklist and you would add the domain under the whitelist. So now I will demonstrate the blocking taking place. I have added my external IP address and I've set the policy. So all I have to do is set my DNS requests to go through the cloud. This can be done on the router level, but for this demonstration, I will do it at my local level. We would also provide you with the DNS IPs for the forwarders, but for this demonstration, I will directly go to this Adtran Pro Cloud. And this should take effect immediately. So I will open another browser 
and we'll keep with the same example. I blocked alcohol, so I'll go to Budweiser.com. And there is our block page. The block page is 100% customizable. You can change this to show your own logo and your own text. This can be done from this tab here, the block page tab. As you can see, the text is all showing up here. And if you wish, you can add your logos and different settings by coming into the advanced tab. And this is the CSS of the block page. And finally, I will demonstrate the reporting. So if I go to the reporting tab, you can see here a live view of the traffic going through the policy. And as you can see here, Budweiser.com fell underneath alcohol and was blocked. And if we go back to the dashboard, there should be more data in here now. And as you can see, the pie charts have populated. And it shows me the recent blocks of both Budweiser.com and the graph also. Thank you.